Uh, first question for you, you know, for a team that scored a lot of points on a lot of teams, the Chiefs, what was it about today's game plan that was able to hold them to just 17? Um, you know, came out and did the, the necessary game plan we did to try to affect them, you know, in the pass game, run game. And, you know, we, we executed executed well to, you know, our best abilities. Uh, they had a couple plays, you know, where it got out, but to hold them to under 20 points and, you know, it was a task for anybody. So, um, you know, we just came out and did what we do. Coach Morris said a little while ago his biggest takeaway from the game was that you guys can play with anyone. What validation is there in that feeling if you can't ultimately get the win? I mean, we can play with anyone. Um, and that's almost the most frustrating part, having lost the games that we lost at the margin of, you know, defeat that we had. It could go either way, you know. We, we got a strong team, good team. And it's just, you know, we just didn't – finish out in multiple games how how we want to and then you know that could definitely take a toll on you but you know you got to just you know keep working and um just kind of find find what, what what's that thing that's you know holding us back to having having that success and coming out on top but um you know it's just just unfortunate to come out with another close loss like this again you said, you know, it can take a toll on you. We, we know how competitive of a guy you are. So does it take a toll on you, the close ones, and just the way some of these have ended? I mean, as a, as a competitor, um, whenever you don't get the W, it, it always affects you. Um, it's just what you do with, with that with that feeling, you know. Um, you got to be motivated to go back to get better and um, open up the wounds so you can see where you can get better, you know, it, versus um, powering them. You know, ooh, why me? You know, never never, never been that guy, never will be. So um, it's about how you respond, you know. Um, at the end of the day, you know, we, we blessed to be able to play this game. But um, – wins is what will keep you around wins is what what you do it for you know wins is why they pay you so we gotta um find a way to get some wins it seemed like you guys got a lot of pressure on uh, patrick mahomes today you were in the backfield quite a bit were you happy with the attack and how unsettled uh, mahomes seemed at times oh uh, yeah it, it was it was it was good um a couple I feel like there's still a couple plays out there that we could have could have got, but for the most part, you know, we definitely kept them moving around, forced a couple of incomplete passes, interceptions, and got a couple of hits. And so it definitely, um, you know, felt good to be able to affect them. Did you say anything to AJ after that dropped interception? Uh, you know, just next play. You know, we just got to go next play. And um, there's more than one, there's more than one play um, in the game that, you know, got us the L. So, but he made a heck of a play, you know, if he don't reach up, even if it's not a PBU, it's a chance that they catch a touchdown. So, I mean, at the end of the day, he made a, he made a great play, you know, um, he'll learn from that. And, um, I'm sure that, um, it'll motivate him to make that play next time he in position. You know, many fans this time of year are thinking about draft order and having a high draft pick. Can you talk about how that's in conflict with the mindset that you guys have as players and coaches? Uh, I think it's the last thing from our mind as players and coaches. We went, we prepared to win uh, week in and week out, day in and day out, and um, let the you know let that time and of that take care of itself. And we don't have, I mean, no control over that anyway. So we got to control the controllables. With what Youngway has been able to do for you guys kicking this year, how surprised were you to see him miss the chance there at the end? You know, it was. Um, it was a problem, but man, he done kept us with so many games over this year um, and just, you know, won so many games for us. Um, at the end of the day, you know that he did his best. And I mean, it's, you know, stuff happens, you know. Um, so uh, he a pro bowler for a reason. He definitely earned it. And um, the best is just to yet, yet to come for him. And um, that may be a motivating factor for him to, you know, just get better. So at the end of the day, um, we know he did his best, and, and we love him, and we, we love doing him after, after the kick because we, we know what he'd mean to this team and what he put in for this team this year. So we appreciate him. And do, do uh, we found out this week uh, heading to the Pro Bowl, kind of, you know, good news on, on a tough day coming earlier this week. How did you celebrate that, and, and what does that mean to you getting selected to the Pro Bowl? Uh, you know, it definitely is an honor and um, um, to be selected as my second of consecutive Pro Bowl. And... Um, and, you know, definitely, you know, just the respect that people have for me around the league. And, you know, so I definitely um, appreciate that. And, you know, just, you know, celebrate it with my family. And I don't know, to celebrate it with me. You know, we enjoyed it. You know, I, I think I think they um, expected it. And, you know, it's kind of like an expectation now, you know. So, um, 
it was it was a good moment, but you know, definitely, you know, trying to finish the season as strong as we can and and uh control what we can going forward. I think those are all the questions we got in the chat, man. 